Sup, gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing great. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, make sure to take a second and subscribe. It's free. If you change your mind later on down the road, you can just unsubscribe. So you got nothing to lose. With that being said, let's rock and roll to this video. Now, Elden Ring, before I go any further, is it's a really good game. It's a great game. It's very, very hard. That's what she said. And I'm really enjoying it. It's fun. But, but, I'm just going to say this to keep it free. You'll impact the steel. It is overrated. Like, the hype that a lot of people have around it and, like, the 10 out of 10s and the fanboys, like, this is the greatest game ever. Elden Ring is like, this, this is so much fun. This is more fun than, than hugging my anime pillow. Like I said, don't get me wrong. It's a good game. It's a fun game. The bar is set pretty low in gaming nowadays because a lot of games, really, AAA titles released are, like, a lot of games, a lot of game development teams, they don't release games uh really finished and there's a lot of issues with them so it's nice to have a game that actually you know it had that little glitching and hitching problem with the pc but it was patched within a day or so so that's fantastic and personally playing on pc i don't have any issues with it graphically it works well i'm not getting any you know glitching or any kind of hiccups or anything i've really never experienced any problems with it the game hasn't crashed it's run flawlessly so that's fantastic but just the overall i guess meta of the game and what the idea of the game is i feel is a little under Overwhelming. It's essentially an open world game. I mean, I don't have to explain it to you. A lot of you played it, but it's an open world game that doesn't really have a lot of direction, which is, I know, hey, that's how the game is. I thought. That's how the game is. This is to be a gamer. Feel, feel for yourself. This game isn't holding your hand. This is for real elite gamers. But there doesn't seem to be a lot of direction. Like a lot of stuff that you're supposed to be able to do and get a quest and figure out. It's like, there's no way in hell. I don't know how anyone figured it out. Like it doesn't give you any direction. Like you're supposed to go talk to this person. And then like, you know, if you talk to them enough times, they give you like a quest, but you don't know where you're supposed to go. So you're just supposed to walk around aimlessly on this giant map, hoping to fall into some kind of like, you know, the mission, I guess, just by happenstance. If I didn't look online for guides and what the hell I'm doing and whatnot, I really wouldn't know what I'm doing. But also it's, it's a bit repetitive. Listen here, you lost have my best eyes on. Call of Duty repetitive, okay? This is the logic of arguing. You say something bad about a game, so I'll say something bad about a different game that doesn't really actually counter the points you're making about this game. It just points out how bad the other game is, but that's logic to gamers. <laughs> It's sort of repetitive, right? You just run around, you rank up, you hit some bosses, and you call a day and move on. And then, you know, you get your ass kicked, so you have to go around and find some more people. <laughs> Essentially, the game consists of three things. Rune farming, using those runes to rank up your guy, and then killing bosses. And then, like, riding around your horse exploring, right? I mean, that's it. I know. That's, I mean, that's, that's a lot of how other games are, too. But there doesn't seem to be a lot of variables involved, variances. Doesn't see a lot of differences. It just, you know, lack of better words, it's a bit lacking on actual shit to do that is different from the stuff that you've done at the very beginning of the game. It's a little dry. Your mom's dry, bitch. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say something really brave. I'm going to say something so bold and so brave, and I don't know how I could be so strong to say this, but I'm going to say this. I think objectively, not subjectively, maybe subjectively, but I will say I think that Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Sushi, Ghost of Sashimi, is a better game. It was a more fun game that had a better, just a better environment, a better game. It's a better game. I was going to say a better story, more stuff going on. What the hell's going on with the story? I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm a tarnished, and I got to get myself some, you know, polish and get cleaned up and figure the shit out. I don't know what I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to even do. Basically, I like to just go around, try to find the most powerful weapons, ramp myself up, kill things, get myself smoked up 50 million times, and then go and try to do it again over and over. That, that's pretty much it. It's like banging your dick on a piece of wood with a hammer and hopefully, you know, it stops hurting. You know, that's my analogy. And I'm going to say it's actually too hard. It's actually ridiculous. I know people who like the game, I'm not asking you to change it. That's the way the game is. So, if you know, if you're into that kind of game, I'm not asking to ruin your fun. You keep enjoying that. You keep having a good time getting smoked over and over again trying to do what you got to do and you enjoy the game for what it is but for me i'm not asking to change the game just telling you how i feel about the game it's too hard it's dumb getting killed over and over and over again it's just come on I, I, I got time for that shit and then also there's no quest logs you don't know where you're going you don't know what you're doing you're just running around aimlessly i've been playing 12 13 hours and i'm just feel so underpowered no matter what i mean there's like basically no one i can go out there and just kick ass everything is just a grind i ain't about grinding for games grinding in games i already get this dick grinded on it the 
strip club. Yeah. But it's a good game. It's a fun game. It's like got the best game ever. Anyways, um, I just know how much more I can say. That's my real review of Elden Ring. Elden Ring? Elden Ring. It's a fun game, good game, bit repetitive, lacks a little bit of direction. You gotta figure everything out for yourself, which is whatever. I mean, if you enjoy masochism, that's cool. And it's like the combat's pretty simple too, right? Let me just keep it real. You know, you have those spells, little hack and slash, you know. Eh, it's good. Okay, that's my review. Thanks for watching. I'm not eight thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I just not enjoy this feel all like sus. You just like you just like jealous hater because you die too much and you just don't need to get good scrub. And uh, last but not least and most importantly, hey, make sure you subscribe. If you don't subscribe, yeah, you're not a real gamer. Okay, I'm out. Peace. Just subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.